Hello everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you have all having a good week. So, uh, just a bit of an update on the tank. Um, we've just been to the uh, LFS store and um, yep, yeah, we've got uh, some more peppermint shrimps as you can see in there. The um, I spoke to Sean, I was telling him like the, the, the tank's out of control with Aptasia and when the lights are on, in, uh, I'm going to wait till the lights come on, I'm going to do a second part to this video, which will be on, on this video, but I'm going to obviously stop it and wait till the lights have literally come on about two minutes ago, so it's why you can't really see anything at the moment. But the Aptasia is, um, is, is, is out of control now, um, and I'm going for a bottle of Aptasia X a week, which is really bad apparently so um so yeah so we're just gonna he said just keep adding peppermint shrimp and it will get rid of them so we're just gonna keep adding we've got five in there now that will be seven with them two there's two in the sump um and yeah so uh so it was good I went to reef dunes first time I actually went in there I've been in there first time I've been in there in ages to look around so it was really cool to go in there um but I was going to get another coral uh, SPS, but I decided not to because I don't know if you can see there. But um, I will do a proper update once the lights come on in a bit. But yeah, it's not looking good at all. That it looks like well, it looks like it's dying to me. Um, so uh, yeah, don't really want to go get any more SPS at the moment. Um, so yeah, so we got the peppermint. We did get some usual the usual bits as well. Got the uh, ran out of some carbon, so we got some more carbon. We've got some Roifos and we've got some Joe's Juice because I ran out of Aptasia Rex. So we got that and we got the usual pods. This is what I put in. I put 10 packs of these in every single week without fail. And that's for this little little fella down there. So she's uh so she's got lots to uh to munch upon. Um oh there's a crab claw there, right next to her foot. I don't know if you can see uh, right next to her head. So maybe a crab is shed or something, but um, yeah, I'm going to do a full update once the lights on the corals are awake. Well, I'll come back on to this video and then we'll um, we'll have a little look and uh, what's come out of focus. Get back in focus, and uh, yeah, we're doing a little update and I'll just show you kind of how bad. If I can zoom in, I'll show you how bad the problem is. But it's um, we will just keep adding these peppermint shrimp every single week until we got. I don't know, 20 of them. I don't care. You know, they will eventually have to eat it. Um, and also my feeding. At the moment, I was saying to Sean, um, I'm feeding uh, uh, one block of mice, one, one cube of mice a day and one cube of vegetarian diet for the tank. Um, and I'm um, doing half in the morning, half at, uh, well, say half in the morning, half in the afternoon, about two, and then half at eight. Um, so, uh, basically he said, to just use the, keep doing the same amount, but what's happening, you're putting it in and then it's causing like a snow globe effect, which is then obviously the Aptasia trapping them and eating them. Um, so we don't want to try, so what we're going to do is just keep doing small little feeds throughout the day. Now, if I'm not here, um, my other half can do it, but it's going to be the best way for this, uh, to try and eradicate this problem. Um, so yeah, but, uh. I'm going to catch up in a bit. We'll wait till the lights come on and then we'll have a quick look at the tank. So, see you in a bit. Right, everyone, so I'm back. Um, the uh, the lights are now on, on the full whites, which is uh, probably at the peak of the day for the colour uh, before the blues start uh, coming on. So, let's just do a, a brief update. Um, so, this was the one obviously I was mentioning earlier. It's not looking too good. I think it's dying. Um, it's a shame because it was looking really nice and it was growing. So it's uh, the Monty Pore is not doing too well. You know, you can see by the fact there's green all over it and it's, uh, yeah, that's not looking good at all. Um, so that's not good. Uh, so that, so regards to the other corals, the Acan's looking all right. Um, hammer. Um, they all seem to be, the rest of the corals seem to be doing all right. I mean, there are Aptase, we're going to come on, I'm going to show you a good, uh, some good photo, a pit, vids in a minute of the Aptase. You'll see, we'll, we'll take a little tour around. But the, um, obviously the whites are on at the moment, so the colours aren't popping, but the, um, yeah, the Zoas all look okay. They're all open and they're, you know, nice and, uh, 
pop in, as, as they say. So um, if we just come round here, the far view, I'm pretty sure is, it's not doing much now. I don't know if it's the angle I put it on. I might try and move it again, but it's the colour. There's some nice flashing green going throughout that. And that's all gone. Um, the GSP is sulking, and the reason why it's sulking, this, this whole rock here was covered in... Um, uh, green algae and I took it out and I gave it a good scrub yesterday so it's uh, so, so that's obviously just sulking a bit at the moment um, so I kind of expected that but let's have a look at the Uptasia now I'm just going to just do a quick brief you can see it's all in there all around there um, if we come around here um, Let's see if I can zoom in and see if we can focus. You can see it's all across the sand bed there. That was the pepper, that's the one of the peppermint shrimps I've just added. Oh, photo bomb <laughs> is the other peppermint. Hopefully, they're going to work on this. I'm just going to keep adding them. So, um, yeah, uh, let's just have a look. Now, you probably, I don't know if you can see as much. You can see there's some more of it there. Uh, if we just scroll down, there's it's more of it there. It's literally all over. Look, you only have to look on the rock and you can see it is literally everywhere. There's a big one there. Um, I suppose there. Um, and now if you, I don't know if it's going to pick this up, but if you, let me see if I can just get it to, oh, you lot would have to come and photo bomb. What I want, what I want you in the videos, you, you, you know where to be seen. Um, can you see it all there? riddled if we go under i don't know if i can get the angle could you see all right yeah we don't need you in the video at the moment can you see all at the back there's a big swarm of it there um and then if we just come up let me just zoom out a bit to the tank um then you can just see it. it's all in the rocks everywhere you know you don't have to study each rock you can see it's all there all there if we come down here all there just literally everywhere you look on the rocks you'll spot it and I, obviously it's come from one bit of coral and it's just escalated but you know i was even saying to sean i was literally to the point this week when i just thought is it you know should i just rip you know start again but then I thought I'm going to lose. I've spent, you know, lots of money on corals and fish. Obviously, the fish would be all right. But, you know, I've spent a lot of money on corals um, and rock. Let's not forget, rock's not cheap. You know, there's about, I think, I think there's about over five, six hundred quid's worth of rock in it. Um, so, you know, I don't want to do that. And he said, like, and I said, do I take it out and scrub it all? And he was like, no, don't do that. Um, it's the last thing you want to do. But I feel, I mean, it's if you zoom in there, you can see it's all literally wherever you look on this tank, you will find it. It's everywhere. And obviously it must be stinging some of these corals. There's loads of them in between these corals here. So I'm just hoping, like the peppermint shrimp, he's saying, look, you know, use your Uptaser X if you need to, but he doesn't think it's doing much. Um, so he's saying go down the... Uh, the organic route so uh that's what we'll do we just keep adding them and adding them they're not cheap either they're like 16 quid 16 or 19 quid each i think he said so it's right saying you want to do that but you know i don't want to be spending you know 30 you know 30 40 quid a week on on peppermints um what happens you know when once you know once it is all gone you know you're gonna end up that you know there's moises in there and um i suppose i could feed moises each day but i mean they're uh they're going to be used to eating that so but if it, it, it you know if it's if it gets rid of it then i'm willing to give it a go um so so yeah uh so apart from that the corals you know there's they seem to be all doing all right but it's just obviously like i said the biggest issue is this aptasia issue i'm getting at the moment it's really getting me down but um Gravel bed needs a bit of a vac, like I said in a previous video. I've got another bag of that coming this week, so uh, next week now. So, but there you can see. I know I keep switching back, but uh, you can see it's, it's all there. Oh, where's my finger? Uh, oh, I can't, where's that? It's all there, all there. It's literally. I've, I mean, it's 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 everywhere, everywhere in the tank. If you could see what I could see here, the camera doesn't really pick it up. But um, 
but yeah, so uh, but one thing you did say with the feeding is to, uh, I was using, like I said on the uh, earlier on, I'm, I'm using a cube of with garlic a day and a cube of um, uh, the veggie diet for the tank. So what he's basically said is just rather than do a feed in the afternoon, feed in the evening, do little little spot feeds throughout the day. Because he said the worst thing, like I said earlier, is is if it's looking like a snow globe when you put the money in, uh, when the money, well, sorry, the uh, the fish in, the fish food in. Because he said what's happening then is it's um, it's given them a um, it's given the aptasia a chance to eat, and you don't want to be giving them a chance to eat. So I'm just gonna add little bits throughout the day. So we just keep adding like like, like I'm doing here. Just little bits like that. And I'm just gonna keep adding that throughout the day. And we'll just see by doing it like that, will it um will it help? I'll try anything at the moment. So so that's pretty much it for this video. Not much to update. I mean um like I said, I've uh, got some quite a few bits today from as the old Gobi. If you anyone's wondering how he's gone, he is fully paired now in a pistol shrimp. They're moving stuff each day. I cover this up in the following morning, he's moved it all back. So uh, he's doing really well, nice and big. Seems to be eating really well. So uh, yeah. But yeah, if you want to like, comment and subscribe, I think we're on about uh, past the 80 mark now. So on the road to 100 subscribers. So, you know, about, I think 75% like of people that watch my videos don't actually subscribe. So if you could please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you are notified when I upload. And uh, we'll keep growing this channel because um, I want you guys to follow me along this journey. There are going to be ups and there are going to be downs, but I want you guys to be there with me. So, uh, yeah, um, as always, any questions, put them in the comment section. I, I will reply to them all. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye.